Yeah. Maximum jelly. Thumbnail or what's going on guys? Natural team bodybuilder Alex Walsh here. It is November the first, day after Halloween. Can't lie, I had a pretty good time. <clears throat> but today uh, just been on the edge a little bit. Um, unfortunate things happen to sometimes unfortunate people. I'm not ever gonna make anybody feel sorry for me. I mean, you know, I don't recommend trying that. It's just, in the scheme of all things, whenever you're trying to do something as crazy or great, that's something that means a lot to you. I often realize that there's gonna be a lot of struggles, there's gonna be a lot of obstacles that try to come in your way of, of your dreams whether it's your family, friends, or just circumstances around you that you probably don't have the most control of. And I think one thing I've noticed, you just, no matter how, how tough things get, no matter how, how many times people disappoint you in the way that, that they treat you, or the way that they're not there to support you like you need them there, you still have a goal. You still have your dreams that that you very much love and you want to accomplish. Don't let other people dictate or determine the outcome of your success. Don't let it happen. Like, there's been many times where I, I just, I feel like, I feel like quitting. I feel like so insignificant. But it's just the people around me that's that's making it, that's making them, the noises come into my head. So that's why I gotta surround myself with good people. Like my brother right here. Just, that are there for me 100%. They're there for me in the, the rough times, they're there for me at the best times. So I recommend for you guys to, to surround yourself with people that, that wanna be better, that wanna better you too. Because it's, it's a lot easier to become successful when you have successful people around you, or people that have ambition like you do. It's a lot easier to, to succeed that way. So I don't want to get too damn deep or tell you guys too much about my personal life, but some things are going to have to change um, with certain people. And it might seem unreasonable at the time, but it's, it's best for me because the way that I'm feeling I don't like feeling really down right now. <clears throat> but best believe, I'm gonna keep fighting. So I'm not, it's not done yet, and I still got a lot of work to do. So right now, guys, we're about to hit a push workout. Really excited about that. Um, I don't know if I got the tripod, but I said I'm still going to uh, film a lot of cool stuff. And one thing before the lifting starts, thank you guys. The comments, the messages that y'all send me, it really makes a difference. It, it makes me feel, it makes me feel a lot more, um, almost like, it, it gives me a good feeling to know that people are there supporting me. Because sometimes I don't feel like I have that much support, but whenever I see y'all's comments and messages, it, it truly, it makes a difference, guys. And I just want to thank you. Thank you very much for that. Okay. All right, guys, enough of this crazy D-Best talk, but let's get to the workout. Hope you all enjoy. I weighed in at 164.4, just a heads up. So hopefully there's more striations than last week. <laughs> yo, 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 guys. Throwing in a flashback. Hashtag what I used to say. Serious. All right, guys, starting off with this weak-ass bench press. I got my boy Kane still with me. And What's up? Yep. As y'all can see, guys. It, this is awful. My bench press has just went to complete shit. I mean, it doesn't help that I started the prep with an injured shoulder, and my training max was at 185, so 
I guess kudos to my coach for allowing me to hit 200 for two with my ass coming off the bench. Look that up, up, is it going hit up? Hit action. Mm, yeah. Squeeze it in. Yeah, guys, I'm not really happy about that, but, you know, to the offseason we go, right? Here comes me, oh God. Here you go, guys. As y'all can tell, Kane's actually only been training for about two, about two solid years, when you say? Uh, I'd say like a year, a little over a year. Yeah, he's consistent. All, and as y'all can see, he's gonna like knock out these reps, and I'm like extremely jealous. One. I mean, they're fast, but they're still reps. Look, well, guys, that's just solid, man. Like, year and a half has already like surpassed my bench. Sucks. See, you guys look. I had to be the the pussy hashtag bitch that like lowers <laughs> it to 190 for two. Ah, uh, yeah, it it really sucks, guys. That I you know I feel so much weaker. During this trip, which granted, I mean, I was a hundred, I am 164, 165 pounds, so I can't get too mad at myself. I feel like my form does look pretty solid still, so that's always a plus to take out of it. It's always a plus. Man, see, him. oh, here we go, striation nation, baby. Look at that. <laughs> look at them grains. Got fingers going on your shoulders, man. man yeah, like a little bitty fingers. <laughs> yeah, guys, look at that. That's crazy, huh? I, I never would have thought that. Uh, I'd be getting this thing. Uh -oh, a little back action uh -oh. there. Oh, bam! Hashtag Ken Waller. Yeah, guys, I've been told I look like Ken Waller. I, I, uh, I think that's a bunch of bullshit because he's redheaded and I'm like dirty blonde. But anyway, that's <laughs> yeah, whatever, guys. We got off topic. But look at my boy right here. Watch this, guys. Hold on, come on. There you go. There you go. Watch this. Year and a half, guys. Look at that. I'm mine. He has like a cheat day every fucking week. And I'm over here like every couple days. Every couple of days, and I'm like depriving. Look at this, guys. This is what I call good genetics and just having a structured program. Look at that. You guys can do it too if y'all just stay consistent and just believe in yourself. I mean, I've been in this game for a little while. I mean, obviously I had to learn a lot, but <clears throat> it's it's been a journey, guys. And I'm I'm glad it's it's coming to an end. But you know, it's gonna be sad too. It's my last team bodybuilding show. Me being 19 and all, but... Go out with the bang, man. Yeah, man. I, I'm really happy with how I'm looking. This is the leanest I've ever been in my life, but also the worst. That wide bag. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Christian Guzman stringers on point. Made me look bigger than what I actually am. Serious! <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored. Thanks, Christian, for the gear. Serious! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Kane over oh. here. Look at this wide bag, guys. I'm, I'm mad jealous. Look at that, guys. That is a year and a half. I'm, man, good genetics. I mean, granted, he, he did a little bit of lifting in football, but there's a long story. I'm gonna have we're gonna have a story of him coming very soon. He's gonna do a lot of explaining. Yeah. But yeah I'm ready for y'all to hear his story. Like it's really phenomenal. It's better than mine. Oh, of course. Guys, y'all see that vein right there on the shoulder? You see that, Kane? Yeah, man. That's why I focused in on. I was like, whoa. <clears throat> Yeah, guys, I feel like I'm almost there. I feel like, with the, like since I'm really pale, I feel like with a good tan, with the, the Dream Tan number two that I'll be using, it's going to make all, everything pop, you know. And obviously, this is my first show, so I'm going to keep dieting going into the show. So, I mean, <clears throat> what can I say? Skinny arms. <laughs> uh, guys, he, he's, he's got actually like 15 inch arms. He's like six foot five. No, I'm not. <laughs> like 6'2 at the max, man. 6'2, but he, he still looks pretty damn good, guys. Like Got so. a lot of muscle to build, though. All right, very proud of him, guys. Quick learn, you know, and like I said, it's from brother. Oh, God, the curls for the freaking girls, huh? Got to do that, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, I think it's the last exercise that we recorded. Um, I just wanted to have Kane kind of do the voice of because y'all are going to see him a lot, you know, see him a lot more. And uh, anything you want to conclude this little voiceover, came before we... Uh... Man, I'm just proud of your physique, man. And here in a second, you're fixing to see. I'm fixing to focus in on that road map on your forearm. <laughs> I know that the viewers are seeing it, but there it is. Look at that. Half Maddie lighting. <laughs> <laughs> that lighting's just strong. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this little commentary. Hope you all like this video. Give it a like. You know, share this, guys. Let's get this channel going. I'm hoping to hit a thousand subscribers before uh, Christmas. That was like my New Year's goal, and to see that it's getting close. It's crazy. All right, guys. I think it's about to cut off. 
Love you guys. Stay See awesome. y'all later. Peace. Wow. <laughs> Still not gone? Bye. Hey guys, just made it back home. Um, had a pretty good workout. Shoulders are definitely looking pretty sick. Um, so I've, it's crazy. I I used to think that I did get lean, but I've never been at the point where I have like the quote unquote grainy look. Um, I, I just I I don't know. I guess I always assumed my eight percent body fat was just like six percent, but no, I guess I was you know not as lean as I thought I was back then. And one thing I will tell you guys, one thing, another thing that I've learned, I guess this is going to be a day of just telling you guys what I've learned. Uh, I've learned so much just about my body, more than I ever could have imagined. <sighs> it, it it really tests somebody, a prep does, not just physically, but mentally. Like mentally, you have to stay stronger because it's not for everybody. And it's not really the smartest thing to do, especially if you just you just you just like bodybuilding as just like a hobby, you know. Because I feel like competing is a little bit on the extreme, because it's not healthy to do what I'm doing. I mean, getting below a certain body fat, it's it it's it's pretty stupid. It's very ignorant. I mean, unless you just have a, a passion for it, like a strong passion. And after this, guys, like I said, I'll be done competing for probably probably five years um, just because I it's it's pointless to me like I said I, I, my job is to be or my passion I, I want to be a professional natural bodybuilder and regardless of if I get my pro card or not um, I still feel like I can put on a lot of size naturally <clears throat> and then after that that's it really depends on my certain situation, but I don't know if I've told you, but I said I want to be an IFBB pro bodybuilder one day. I want to get into that freakish size just because it's just, I've always, like I said, I've, I've got a passion for it. But if you guys are just like a recreational lifter, I don't, I mean, it's not necessary to get stupid lean. Um, it's, it's not good. Like I said, I don't feel good. You can ask any of my friends, I mean, like, I, I don't feel good. I, I wish I could record some behind the scenes stuff, which I might start doing. Might have my friends film me. But literally, I'll do a set, and I'm just like, I'm literally just like, just, just, I'm almost like about to pass out just because I'm just so just worn out. And it takes everything out of me just to finish um, the workout. And I don't like that. You know, I used to be a guy that's upbeat. I like to just kill it in the gym, but now my lack of energy and just lack of want. Too is just I had an all time low and I said I don't recommend it for anybody. <clears throat> but I said we got this week and then probably another two weeks after that and then it'll be you know, it'll be done guys. So it's time to get strong, get big, and eat again. <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna be the end of the video. I wanted to have a posing update. Um I might just I think I'm just gonna like wait for the actual, uh, I guess I'll do like one day out posing. I might, I might throw up a posing. Video. I don't know. I haven't really decided. I haven't had time to film a posing update. But appreciate the support, guys. You'll take care. Remember, rise above normality. I'm out.